I know that some of you thoroughly enjoyed it when I suddenly broke into song like roll, roll it girl, roll it girl. Well, today we're going for a little bit of a roll back in time to 50 Cent era with Go shawty, it's your birthday. Go to party like it's your birthday. <laughs> it is my birthday weekend and we are about to get straight into it. However, I have some exciting news, but I know that lots of you have been waiting for this. So I'm putting this at the beginning of the video so you can beeline for the stocks of my collaboration with Swede. Yes, I am wearing Hollyhock over the top of Rose Petal, but I'm gonna be swatching all of the lip products with you and telling you exactly why I love them, but you can buy them now. There is Rose Thorn, which I will pop the swatch on screen. There is Rose Petal, and those have probably been my most worn because they're a lip liner, but they're a lip liner that's super comfortable, super nourishing. They have such staying power. It is ridiculous. Like when I try and rub them off my arms when I'm, squatch when I'm squatching them, swatching them. It takes blooming forever to get them off. You really have to get some soap on there. So they have up to six hours staying time. They also have jojoba seed oil, which means that makes them super nourishing on your lips. So where they have the staying power, and this is what I love about Gabriella's creativity when it comes to Swede, is she doesn't just look at like how beauty products look. She wants them to be performance products as well. So they last for six hours. I can definitely tell you they last longer than that. But they're comfortable because they have the jojoba seed oil that is nourishing, moisturizing, and hydrating the lips. So they look beautiful. So they have probably been my most worn out of all of the four products because they work as the base for the, for the lip for the day. So if I'm going for something that's a little bit more pared back, I go for Rose Thorn. It's got that sort of earthy, natural, deep brownie rose tone to it, which is why we went for the, na the name Rose Thorn. And this looks so beautiful, just blushed onto the lips delicately if you want that really pared back look. I personally love it with a clear balm over the top for my more like effortless days. The same with Rose Petal, but it just has that sort of pinkier tone to it. Then you kind of ramp things up a little bit. And initially I intended for Wild Rose to sit with Rose Thorn because it, to me, that was like the sort of autumn-y, rich, deep tones. Wild Rose is quite delicate, but still pared back and nudey. Whereas Hollyhock, which I'm wearing right now, is like that injection of spice. <laughs> I've seen a lot of people asking about my lip blush in relation to these products. Generally speaking, I always put a little light layer of foundation over my lips, but my lip blush is there to um, wear when I'm not wearing any makeup, so that I look a little bit more put together. When you put makeup on, it, it bears no relevance, unless you're putting on like a clear lip balm or something like that. That's when it comes into its own. I generally put a little layer of uh, foundation just to give a good base, and I thought we could go through my little lip wardrobe now because I genuinely think I've got you covered for every season of like life of, of the year because these really are such versatile products. So, I'm so excited. <laughs> Four products, but obviously if you wanted to pick up more, you know I love the Cloud Mascara, I love the Pro Lash Mascara, I love the Lash Serum and the powder, like mineral foundation, oh my goodness. If you don't put that over your foundation, like a really light foundation, if you put that over the top, the, the skin is just, and also the blush as well, absolutely incredible. And like I said, Gabriella is a visionary. If you want to follow one CEO right now of the beauty brand, follow Gabriella. So we have the two lip liners, Rose Thorn, Rose Petal. Let's get Rose Thorn on first. I feel like the lighting is really lovely and consistent here, so I'm just gonna take this off my lips. So this is Rose Petal with Hollyhock on top, but I'll show you it again. That is my lips without anything on, so completely sans makeup. I'm gonna just dust on a little light layer of foundation like so. This gives me a really good base and it enables me to put a really, really defined lip line. Okay, Rose Thorn it is. Please don't mind the fact that this is one that I've used quite a lot. As you can see in one swipe, a really defined lip line. I'm doing this without a mirror as well, so bear with me here. 
but I like to take this all over the lips. On a day-to-day -day basis, this is Rose Thorn. I've popped a little bit of clear, non-anything balm over the top just to give it that little tiny sheen, but I didn't want gloss. And this is probably what I wear most on a day-to-day -day basis, especially in autumn, winter. But I'm seeing how with those richer skin tones during summer, you can wear anything, basically. And also, if you wanted to know what um, these lip products look like on deeper skin tones, of course, the Swede team have you covered. Just check the website. They've got pictures on there so you can see. Now I'm going to show you what Rose Thorn looks like with Wild Rose over the top. Instantly, Wild Rose gives Rose Thorn that instant sort of peachy, luscious nude. So it's not gonna wash you out. It also keeps that depth and those richer tones from Rose Thorn. But this is what I love. I have never had a lip liner with a lip brush at the end because there is one thing I cannot bear. It is a really harsh lip liner. So I love to take this and just blend everything in make it a lot more seamless, a lot more natural looking. It's great for dispersing product, but also tidying up around the lips as well. Once you have a lip liner with a lip brush built into it, you will never ever go back. I feel like we need to see Rose Thorn with Hollyhock. Little base on the lips, Rose Thorn. Time for an injection of spice because Hollyhock is definitely me on my spiciest days. And what Rose Thorn does to Hollyhock, it sort of subdues it a little bit. The brown earthy tones of Rose Thorn just knock it back just a little bit. So if you're maybe not wanting something quite so spicy that day, I think it still gives that corally tone, but I love this so much and it never feels like really intense, but it still brings that real injection of color. For me, if I wear like a, a really, 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 really strong pigmented lipstick, I'm always worried it's gonna end up across my face. But with these, it's just like a balm. So it, it just, it feels so much easier to wear. It's just kind of that really light, sheer veil of color and I love it. Okay, I'm gonna neck her. Now I'm gonna go in with Rose Petal. And again, I like to fill in the whole lip. Instantly, you can see in comparison to Rose Thorn, this has this pinky vibrance to it. But again, in a very, very pared back way, I feel like this is my favorite way to wear a more pinky nude on my lips. I love this for an injection of pinky, like English rose, pinky nude, something fresh for spring, summer. It's got the color rich velvet finish. It lasts for up to six hours. It's got the jojoba seed oil to make it really comfortable. As you can see, it makes your pout look a lot fuller and it is vegan and natural, which you'll know that natural element to me has become so much more important over the last few months and so it's a joy to work with a brand in this way. Now let's give it a little bit of spice with some hollyhock but I genuinely mean it when I say that you get like I think it's like six or eight different looks with just these four products and I love that they are so versatile and you can mix and match and swap and pair it back and intensify it. They feel super versatile and also like a capsule lip wardrobe for all year round. Oh hollyhock. You are a spicy margarita. This is the perfect balm to be putting on over the top um, of just barely there makeup if you're going to the beach and you just want an injection of brightness. Trust me, I've done it. I've tried it. I've been trialing these lipsticks for so long. They work just as well without the lip liners. But as mentioned, the formula is a hybrid between a balm and a lipstick. So it's really, really comfortable to wear. It's also super nourishing and hydrating for your lips. It is that subtle injection of color, but you can build it up. You can use the lip liners to intensify the color and also knock it back, try something different. You can play around with it. And I've got to be honest, I've reached that point in my life where I do not want a whole drawer of lipsticks. I just want the lipsticks that I know suit me, that know that I know work, that are great formulas, vegan, natural, that is what I want. And then I want to be able to mix and match and change things up with the tones that work and I feel like I've created that. So I will link everything down below. They are also going to be exclusively available at Space NK, which in all honesty, I cannot believe I am saying those words. What a dream. I've got a product in Space NK that is 
a bucket list, a bucket list goal to be able to tick off my list. And I feel so lucky to be partnering with Swede and Gabriella and Space NK for such an exciting launch. And I just blooming hope you like it. After all of this time, after all of this teasing, oh my gosh, this has been, this has been the longest tease of all of my life. But I really wanted to show you how long I've been trying these products and how much testing and work but also the, the natural delays that go into these things especially in the climate that we're in at the moment where everything is kind of up in the air lots of factors around the world often influence these things and we just have to sort of play it by ear but um Am I ever going to learn my lesson about teasing things too early? Probably not, <laughs> but I just hope that you love these. I know that the launch has gone exceptionally well and I feel very, very, very grateful that you've enjoyed these in the way that you have because I am no stranger to talking about the many failures that I have had to have and the many lessons that I have had to learn in working with brands, in moving forward, in developing things. And I promise you, I learn all the time and I really, really try to ensure that every base is covered we've got all your questions answered and we're just putting together some really great products as well so yeah i hope you love them and let's get into the birthday celebrations because if you hadn't noticed it is my birthday <laughs> good morning everyone it is the birthday vlog if you didn't already know that it was my birthday because i've mentioned it for the last few vlogs and i used to feel really bad about that but i'm not it is a joy to still be excited about birthdays at 36 years old. Oh yes, I know you don't believe it, but I am 36 years old. I, I don't look a day over 18. <laughs> it's because of all of the bloody treatments I've had recently. Botox, Profilo. I am not dressed for the activities that we have going on today. We are going on another walk. However, we are not going on a chicken inspired walk like last year. We're doing another walk sort of a bit more locally and I thought that I would actually vlog the whole route. So we are actually going a bit further out than normal. So normally if we're going locally, we just sort of walk from our house and then do a circle and come back. Today, we're actually gonna get a taxi to a location and walk the majority of the way back and then probably get a taxi back just cause it'll be too long and we might get lost in the abyss. I'm a bit out of breath because I just ran up the stairs. Ken and Graham are here painting the second guest bedroom. So exciting. What a birthday gift and finishing off the bathrooms, which is brilliant as well. And we'll also be getting some little details finished up in here. You can just see the uh, faint outline of, there we go, a little bit higher. You can see the, dra the drama, but yeah, they'll be finishing off those as well. I've gone for very, very minimal makeup today. I'm not wearing any foundation, just a bit of the NARS creamy concealer in custard because I use that to like on the spot conceal because it is gonna be the hottest day of the year so far, which isn't hard given the weather that we've had recently. Um, but it is, and this never happens on my birthday. Usually it is gray, it's always very April showers, very spring-like, bit wet, bit gray, not really that sunny. However, today we're getting the good weather, which is, oh, I, I actually should touch wood because, <laughs> because it could change very quickly. Um, we're going in dresses on today's walk because the weather is so lovely, but I am gonna take um, probably a few different types of layers just to keep me warm and just be ready for any eventuality because you never want to get cold. I'm gonna be wearing the red dress that I've worn previously on um, walks with Carrie. So I waited for her to bring that over because it's hers, not mine. I actually was supposed to buy a dress and I still have not bought one that's appropriate apart from that Reformation one that was shorter than my vagina. <laughs> Um, anyway, I'm gonna get myself ready. I'm just in the midst of packing my bag. I've got a bottle of Laob in the freezer because Laob is organic wine. So it's supposed to be better for you in terms of like headaches and bits and pieces like that. So um, it's just got less, it's, I, I think it's got no sulfites in it, which is brilliant. And it's that that's more of like an, a non ultra processed wine, which is brilliant. So I've got Love by Laob, I think, and um, chilling at the moment in the freezer but it's my birthday and i'm so excited i've received flowers i've got presents that i haven't opened yet and the sun is shining it's a good day Audi, you have no idea your friends bolly and tatty are coming to play 
Yes, day. Thing is, we're going on a hike. I've got my socks. Ooh, you're gonna fall over there. I've got my socks for my boots, but I thought I'd show you what I take in my front pocket of my hiking bag. Barclays wintergreen mints, sunnies, keys, Biatares, money, fragrance, this is Floris, Lily. I've got a lip balm. I've got my Swede lip liner in rose petal because it's spring. And of course we're wearing our own lip liners that we designed in the shades that we designed, of course. Um, little makeup brush, a little bit of concealer, emergency tampon because you just never know. Um, brush, headache tablets, and more Biatares. I don't know what that is. Obviously, I will be packing some non-essential items like water, wine, water's essential, and um, snacks and bits and pieces like that. So I'm gonna go and grab myself. Just back on for your uh, lovely little there. <laughs> How long did it take you to find that soundbite? <laughs> Just gonna go and grab a cardigan, shove it in my bag. I'm gonna take a barber with me as well, just to be sure, but the weather is looking scrumdiddly umptious. Taking the barber? I'm not carrying that. I've got, a... do you even have your own backpack, babe? No. Well. No. We just had one of those very um, married couple type discussions. Do you even have a backpack, babe? He's like, no. I'm like, well, he's like, right. <laughs> First birthday gift opened. My new hat for spring summer. My favorite position is CEO. <laughs> this one's from Carrie and the, and the dogs. And then we have a lovely non-UPF birthday cake. <laughs> Molly! <laughs> Molly Moo, Molly! Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> Bolly and Tat uh, Tatty and Barkley are literally best friends. Yay! <laughs> Forty's a little bit shy. Doesn't really know how to be around girls. Just like Bolly, who is nowhere to be seen. Go on, Tatty Moo! Yes! Yes! Well, we've made it to the first stop. We are in Sherrington and we're heading to the White Hart. We've had a very, very toasty drive over here through some very lovely villages, but the weather is absolutely glorious. I have, don't think I've ever had a birthday with weather like this. Could have had a garden party. I could have had a garden party. And we have arrived. Well, we have just left pub stop number one, which was the King's Head in Sherrington. We are now walking on the road, but this is more of like a lane and we're gonna take the um, public footpath across the fields. That's basically what we have in the UK. I have spoken to you about this before, but we have this really wonderful set of public footpaths that allow the public to walk in the countryside but we're going to take it across the fields now and head to the next spot and I'm hoping I'm going to get some sunshine on my skin because I'm looking like Casper the friendly ghost today. <laughs> Well, I think the weirdest thing, <laughs> the weirdest part of this walk is that that house there is the house that we tried to buy before we bought the house that we're in now, if you can actually hear me. So if you're new here, you might not know. If you're not new here, then you've probably heard this story a hundred times. But the house that we live in now was not the house that we tried to buy originally. What we tried to buy was an old nunnery and it was very, very, very beautiful. 
and for some reason and I genuinely now look back and I'm like that was supposed to happen because I thought it was my dream house I'd seen this house online for years and years and years and it had been for sale for a few times over the years but never I'd never seen it sold we went and looked around, fell in love, it needed a lot of work, it needed a new kitchen, it needed something like 32 new windows, it had an outbuilding which was perfect for us, we put in our offer, um, and admittedly we went lower than we should, than you normally would, but because it needed so much work, 32 new windows, oh. um, and they rejected it. We then ended up coming up to sort of like almost asking price, but it was definitely not worth asking price. And they just turned around at one point and they were like, they're just not going to sell it to you. And I said, oh, they'll come back. I mean, I was devastated, but I said, they'll come back and they said they won't. And then three days before we moved to the house that we're in now, they came back. <laughs> and the funny thing was is that we'd never lived anywhere like we live now where it's very private it's surrounded by fields and so this beautiful beautiful house although beautiful would have been right smack bang in somewhere that now we would never dream of living i'm in a different situation than i was then um i've tried i've worked hard and it's paid off and i now live i have, I have a lot of options is what i'm trying to say in a very diplomatic way um, but now you couldn't pay me to live in that house <laughs> and I think that that's so lovely because the reality is is that I was heartbroken and so if anyone is going through the buying process now which in England the buying process is particularly miserable and um, it's if the house falls through I want you to know that you probably are not supposed to live there and there is a house equally if not way better waiting for you because the one that I thought mine was was there and there definitely wasn't the house for us anyway you've probably not heard any of that because it's so windy but look at this I'm living my best birthday babe life we are heading now across the fields to Emberton which is the next village next pub and this is a very special pub because this is one that is owned by the locals um, which I think is a fantastic thing for a village pub uh, so everyone has a sort of share in the pub everyone's devoted to making it better to working on it it's almost like a community effort so yeah that's our next stop and Emberton is very special to Ali as well because Ali's gramps and his nan would always come and walk around Emberton Park it was like their little thing they'd get fish and chips walk around Emberton Park and that was also where Ali shot a Ted Baker campaign with his gramps and it was one of my favorite things to shoot for him ever anyway on we go nature boy now we are just making it into Emberton and funny story as I was telling you about that house and I was like yeah it's just over there we were actually <laughs> right next to it it was the one that was next to us not that one um so yeah very funny and just very nice very nice because it's sort of like it's just one of those nice reminders that everything works out in the end made it to the Bell and Bear in Emberton and apparently they've got some very good pies in here. I'm just in awe of how beautiful it is. Look at this. So, so pretty. Can you believe we're here today with Bon Jovi? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You've missed a dribble. <laughs> so just to give context the boys are spinning 10 times and then trying to do this ass assault course in the garden oh, like of the pub. It's the kids playground. Really. <laughs> 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 oh, okay, dear. Confirm, no children are around. No there are no it's children here. <laughs> well it's a pint of history in my hands here. <laughs> go on Ali go 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 go. You can count for your husband. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you nine, ten. Are you done, babe? You definitely. <laughs> 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 you 
giggling, you're giggling to yourself. <laughs> It'd be better than you. Oh <laughs> of course he's flawless at it. We are now on to pub number three. <laughs> number three, <laughs> I promise you. I have not had that many glasses of wine just yet, but we are heading from Emberton to Olney um, because we're hoping to actually get some food. Unfortunately, the village pub in Emberton is community owned. And so I'm guessing that it means that if they don't have the staff to, oh my gosh, that is a very big dog. So there wasn't any food for us to be enjoying when we were there, but we are heading into Olney now to hopefully find a pub with some good food for pub stop number three. Oh, he's just been taken again. Oh, that was very close. I met his new boyfriend last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the sun has gone in and we are struggling a little bit. The barber is out. <laughs> but we've made it to Western Underwood, which is arguably one of the most beautiful villages on this little strip that we're doing here. And I don't think you realize, even just the entrance, I don't think you're ready. This is English countryside village entrance goals. <laughs> Look at that, you've got a single track, so you've got to let the other person go. And then if you're on foot, you're on a cobbled, oh, this is almost flint path into the village village church and some of the most beautiful beautiful cottages i have ever seen so this was the very beautiful cowper's oak that we were just in in western underwood and we are now traveling to the next pub. And look at all of these beautiful buildings. I tell you what, I really like that pub. Very nice. We've reached a point in the evening where there is a uh, marital tug of war in <laughs> in the direction we are <laughs> we are moving. Caroline Grace, the, the footpath to the next pub, but the footpath for anybody that knows public footpaths in England is never a straight line. To the footpath. <laughs> Neither no. is. Wrong way, Carrie. Wrong way. We're going on the road. We've got to take the road. It's the quickest way. We're going on the road. We are now on said road. <laughs> and we are walking, just hasten to add, the opposite direction to where we go. This is the way we are supposed to be going. That seems to go for that yeah. way. <laughs> but we have done what my lovely boyfriend, who is Mr. Navigation of the World, 
has decided is a better route. Hmm. No, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> She's totally fine with it. Fine. She's totally fine. This is absolutely fine. <laughs> totally fine. fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the only acceptable. Oh gosh, she's like a bloody football hooligan. Look at her. <laughs> I don't usually like children's playgrounds, but I do if there is a brook and a little tiny bridge in front of a thatched cottage. <laughs> I'll be I'll mild, mildly very... <laughs> Those two are a nightmare. <laughs> well, this gap in the native hedging is treating us to the most wonderful wonderful sunset however it is not coming across on this camera at all so i'm going to insert a picture from my phone that captures it a little bit better but it is just glorious and all of these little campers walking on to the next village so now we are heading we've just been through ravenstone we have been through a village called ravenstone which is absolutely gorgeous where i was just showing you the um the little brook outside of the uh playground it is beautiful thatched cottages all stone it is lovely but we are walking now to a place called Stoke Goldington. And I think I've told you about these villages before because I often drive through these when I'm going to like acupuncture and places like that. But I'm seeing a very, very different view at the moment. And we are on to our last stop. I think we'll probably get a taxi back. We don't often get taxis back from places, but we're wanting to venture outside of the area that we usually walk which means that we wouldn't generally make it back in time. <laughs> We'd probably get, get there in a couple of days. So we want to, um, yeah, walk around here, which is blooming lovely. What a lovely, lovely birthday. And it's not even my birthday yet. It's tomorrow. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, Mum's village does this. Yeah, oh, so cute. Little lammy. Oh, they got a wreath. Happy birthday to mommy. Happy birthday to you. I can hear sausage dogs running in. Bucky! <laughs> what for you, lammy? <laughs> Listen to this. That's the sound of Ali whistling, but <laughs> listen to the sound of the birds outside. I've never had a birthday with weather like this. This is such a treat. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. Soccer school, centre parks, goal of the day. So Ali was brought round all of his old certificates from his mum, and that's him showing me his goal of the day certificate. <laughs> He doesn't like the, the spotlight to be off him for very long, so. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I have non-UPF birthday cake baked by my best friend. I actually haven't tried it yet. It looks delicious. Mm, my goodness. Victoria sponge, good classic. I have a mug of Earl Grey, which is sweetened with the honey from the teas. From the bees <laughs> and we have a naughty sausage dog who wants to be involved with birthday present unboxing but you've had too much fun and the tea is perfect so i've got some cards to open with you today oh this is to the p.o box and sealed with a wax seal and it's come from san francisco usa oh. Tea is delicious. Also, have you had some of that cake? Yeah, it's really good. It's really good. Non-UPF birthday cake. Gosh. This person's written me a book. Oh, really? Yeah. Another Harrods box, eh? Oh, I'm going to read this with my cup of tea when I'm not vlogging, but it sounds... Oh, wow. Some book suggestions as well. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, the May oh wow, The Women of Chateau Lafayette by Stephanie Prey. Okay, so I've got some book recommendations and some pictures of where she lives. Oh wow, 
beautiful. I will read this with my cup of tea when I'm not vlogging because it's quite long. Another little card. Ali, I've got a truffle snuffler underneath the bed. Ooh, oh my goodness. <gasps> From Nan Gordon. Oh, how lovely. A little bit of money. I'll probably spend it on plants. Wishing you a very happy birthday. Hope, every, hope it is special in every way. Oh, bless her. That's so sweet. So happy Mother's Day to a very special godmother from Isla. Ah, oh, so this is from my goddaughter and then this is from her parents. I've been flashing my boobs at the tomatoes so they turn red from blushing. Has it worked? No, but my cucumbers are enormous. <laughs> now what card has daddy got? <laughs> He's teasing me with this one because there are definitely three sausage noses there. And I only have two. I knows it's your birthday. To you, dear. Happy birthday. Joe, I don't know if you would. I give you a any time. Barky, bees and birds. <laughs> the birds and the bees. Wow, this one is a beautiful greenhouse. Wait. Did my mum draw this? No, she couldn't have done the gold. Look at this card my mum got me. It literally looks like my greenhouse. Yeah. That's so pretty. If I cut the enjoy your special day part off, I could literally frame that. I've got that square frame. That's so lovely. <gasps> Love that. Now this is in sausage dog paper. I think this is from my publicist, Charlotte. Little cake break. <laughs> oh. 20,000 books sold. Bless her. But this is a selection of wines that Ali's mum and stepdad got Ali and I to try. I always love it when people get selections of wine for us because I love trying different wines, but we are definitely gonna try my grandpa's wine when we go to Bordeaux. Ooh, this is organic as well. That was what I was gonna say to you. This is a gift from Ali's dad and stepmom. Oh my gosh, I literally looked at this book the other day to buy. Oh, yeah. How funny is that? The Tulip Garden. Oh, yeah. I literally looked at buying this. I feel like I recognise it. No, I've got the Tulip by Anna Pavord, uh, which is the one that I saw, but this is a new, oh, this is absolutely gorgeous. Wow, that's so funny. How pretty is that? That's Lumi jumping off the box that you are. So <laughs> it's literally like, oh, no, no, no. What? Oh. Yeah, 20,000 books sold for Charlotte. Sausage, oh wow, that's a very pretty sausage dog card. Dear Lydia, wishing you a wonderful birthday. Wishing you a wonderful day. Happy birthday, love, Andrew and B. Archie sends you a birthday woof. How lovely is that sausage dog card? What is this? Oh wow, that smells incredible. <gasps> High Grove soap, babe. Summer rose, rhubarb, and fig. These can go in the wisteria room, yes. for sure. Oh wow, that's so lovely. That's the message there now, so thank you. I thought I'd do a real-time present unboxing because often I leave it until like it's just a bit all over the place so I thought I'd do it real-time. I hope you don't mind getting me first thing in the morning like this but you can hear the crows, Lumi's causing, causing carnage. Next up is one of those pesky little Harrods boxes. Porty! I'll come out soon, I promise. This is a big one. Goodness me. <laughs> this is a workout doing this sat down. Okay, I'm fully lost now. <laughs> I'm gonna have to push this to one side. Oh, wow. Look at the lid. So it's, in it. it's got two acorns and 
all beautiful oak leaves around there. Um, but this for roasting potatoes and things like that. Size, yeah. yeah, that's such a good size. Is this the 38 or the 36? That's the 36 to the 38 was over. So gorgeous. Wow. Ruffoni. Ruffoni. They do lots of different, like, sort of things on top. I think they even do, like, Disney ones, but this acorn one was the one that I was very, very excited about. Not really a Disney person. This is going to be very lovely for roasting. Are you coming to have a look as well? Yes. We're going to roast a little uh, chicken, chicken pudding. Little change of angle there. And then the final Harrods box, which I think the girls at Joe Malone are responsible for this one. Oh, they told you about the candle? Yeah, yeah. I no, I know you bought it, but they told me about the candle. Because this is one of my favourite fragrances and one of my most complimented home fragrances. I don't even think I'm going to be able to get that out. It's so heavy. Oh, it smells incredible. Now I won't be burning this until autumn, because this is my autumn candle, but they've released limited edition at um, Harrods, the townhouse version of a four wick candle in the wild berry and bramble scented candle. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite um, autumn fragrances. It is unreal and for it to be done in the townhouse candle is very special because these are they're sort of ceramic just gorgeous oh my god it weighs a ton oh oh my goodness so lovely thank you so much babe it's a pleasure. you help me tidy up yeah. wow oh or cake. Little Ruffoni for the kitchen. Oh my goodness, this is going to be perfect for popping in the oven. It's not induction. That I did know that before um, we got it. But this is mainly, uh, we're using this for roasting, putting things in the oven, that kind of thing. And it is so good. I mean, I'm just going to display it, if anything else. Isn't that right, Portaline? Isn't that right? <laughs> As you can see, it's officially garden dress season. <laughs> can you tell? I'm having a lovely, lovely day. I also wanted to show you, not my grim hair, my hair is so needing a wash, but I have an event next week. And you know when you're like, if I wash it today, I'll have to wash it again for the event. So we're just gonna go with letting the oils nourish my hair. But if you can see, we definitely have turned the corner with the very, very like sudden onset of perioral dermatitis that I had. Um, it was definitely a reaction to the alcohol wipes. The alcohol wipes are needed. They're essential when you're having like skin treatments done. So it's not like I can't have them, but now I feel like I've got a really good sort of procedure in place. So yesterday I was able to go mostly makeup free and just wear a bit of concealer because I wanted to get some color on my face. I'm gonna do the same today, despite being a little bit delicate after a wonderful wine-fueled walk in the countryside. We walked the equivalent of 30 kilometers. Well, what that means is I walked the equivalent of 30 kilometers throughout the day. So that's from morning until night, whether that's pottering around my home, but we also walked a good chunk. This is what I switched to when I took all of like my sort of active ingredients, I gave them a rest. This is something that I do if I ever get perioral dermatitis. I give my skin the most gentle, delicate rest. So I use my Caudalie foaming cleanser, which works beautifully with my like, with my sort of skin type. I'll use the Caudalie micellar water, um, and then I switch to this cream. And this cream, I, I genuinely don't understand how I haven't heard anyone speaking about this because this cream is by far, this is like a hug. It's just, it's the, way it, the way it smells, just the fact that it's just so beautiful as well. This is by Aurelia London and this is their Cell Revitalize Night Moisturizer. 
and it's a rich probiotic night cream with Pratida, Shea and Avocado and this is so gentle. It almost has a bit of a sort of whipped texture to it. It's really light so it's not, even though it's rich, it's like light on your skin. It doesn't feel overbearing. This is something that I've already used so much of this and I bought this with my own money from Space NK. Um, but this is a brand that I love. You know how much I love this brand. I use their pillow mist all the time. This is, oh my goodness, like the night cream for the evergreen girls. That If, if my book was a night cream, this is what it would be. <laughs> because it's gentle, it's, it's comforting, it smells wonderful, it's natural, it's made in England. It is just beautiful, such a beautiful product and such a beautiful brand. And I've been using this for months, just at those times when I'm like, no, give your skin a rest, Lydia. And I go back to this. I obviously have my Barbara Stern, which is a really like rich, nourishing, still feels quite full bodied. But when I want to give my skin just like a, like a breathe out, like just chill, that's what I use and it's gorgeous. Anyway, I'm gonna get a little bit of makeup on my face, nothing major, because I want to be outside. I want to be doing all of the good things because I've never had a birthday with weather like this as far as I can remember. It is always very, very spring-like, whereas this is a little bit more summer-like. <laughs> so I'm gonna get ready. Now, I've not put anything on my eyes yet, but I've just used a little bit of concealer. I'm probably looking a little bit pale, actually. That is what? Um, there we go. A little bit, a little bit of something, but I thought I would show you rose thorn on my lips today because I was wearing rose petal yesterday. And what I love about Rose Thorn is it's kind of like a brown, for me anyway, it's like a brownie, rosy nude that sort of gives me my lips but better look. Um, and it never feels too much, but you can kind of build it up to something quite bold and dramatic as well. Rose Thorn on my lips, just on its own, which I think is absolutely beautiful. On a day like today, usually I'd go sort of like um, just a little touch of lip balm over the top. And again, this is what I love about it, is that you can wear each of the lipsticks um, with each of the lip liners and they look lovely, but you can also, um, but you can also just wear it with balm on its own. You can wear the lipsticks on their own without the lip liner. So there's so many different ways. And I feel like it's just a, a cute little sort of edit of lipsticks that you don't, if you're like me and you know your colors and you know what works for you and you don't really like deviating too much from what works, um, it gives you lots of different options in terms of like maybe giving a little subtle hint of something with hollyhock or if you want something a bit more pared back and nude you can go with wild rose and the lip liners are obviously customizable with so many different things like balms but then other lipsticks as well I'm just going to pop on a little bit of the Lemur because this is what I like because it's not too shiny but gives it a sort of naturally look. I'm gonna pop on some mascara. This is the Swede Pro Lash Lift Mascara. And that is my birthday. I can't even say birthday beat because it's literally nothing, but my birthday makeup. I think I'm gonna put my hair up though, just so that I'm not bothered by it. Does that make sense? Because it's a bit grim. I love that this is my effortless, effortless look for my birthday that really is quite, <laughs> it takes a lot of effort, like everything I do. I like the effortless look, but it usually takes a lot of effort. It is a busy day at the house today. One of our neighbors is just coming over to borrow something, but I wanted to show you something. Water's going wild. Um, I was tagged in a video this morning that was basically saying that Karen Millen stuff is really bad quality because of X, Y, and Z. And I just wanted to show you that it's just something that happens, unfortunately. I've just popped this dress on from Reformation. I think it's such a beautiful brand, but nothing is, but nothing is flawless, is what I'm trying to say. The hem has come down on this straight away. I've never worn it before, and it just, it's something that I understand, that sometimes you don't get it right, and you try. And I just want you to know that the people that tagged me in that video, just, for me, it's such a strange thing. It's like, I understand from working with the people there. Everyone works so hard on these collections 
and they're all trying to do their best. They're, a lot of them are working mums, a lot of them are absolute like powerhouses and it just makes me laugh when I see someone single like something out and just to highlight all of the negative things from it because there are so many beautiful pieces within Karen Millen and my collections with Karen Millen as well. And to just blanket say that everything is bad quality at Karen Millen I think is just ridiculous because as you can see this is a very expensive reformation dress and it is not flawless. These things happen. Anyway I'm going to change into another reformation dress because I understand that I love the brand and sometimes it won't be perfect. Ali is making breakfast so I'm off to grab some herbs so we can have it with our eggs. Now I'm letting these chives establish themselves just a little bit more. Um, I've also put some over with my broad beans to help with pest control so I'm still going to take some from my truck. I just feel like you can't have enough chives really because they look so lovely as well when they get their little pom-pom flowers on there. In fact, you can see the first of the pom-pom flowers coming up. Big wad of chives, I think. Ooh, that is there. nothing which you want to touch. Like once I've done that, I've got the door, I'm going to touch this up, and then this one... Is the is, door painted now? I've done that side, yeah. Ooh, I've not even seen it, although... Yeah. Oh wow, it looks lovely. Oh, this colour is so gorgeous. <gasps> what a treat, having Ken and Graham here on my birthday as well. We're all gonna have breakfast together, aren't we? Yes, indeed. Your favourite thing to do. What, brekkie? Yeah. We actually had Ken and Graham for a sleepover last night as well. Although I was nincompooped when I got back. Gosh, this colour with the wood looks so beautiful. Wow, and my husband's going to put up the lights for me this evening for my birthday present. Oh, is he? Yeah, looking good. Yeah, but I'm glad. And those purple socks are such a vibe. Oh, come on. <laughs> birthday breakfast with Ken and Graham. We've got poached hen's eggs, avocado, chives from the kitchen garden and sourdough that I picked up on Friday at farmhouse and a green juice smoothie as well for all of the goodness. In fact, I'm going to put my supplements in there. Well, it's definitely not as warm as it was yesterday, so I may have to go and put on something a little bit warmer, but I did want to do a few chores outside in the kitchen garden because what else am I going to do on my birthday than spend time in my lovely garden? Um, one of the first things is I'm getting these little pest control bottles on the go and one of the stickers that we designed. Where are my stickers gone? By we, you mean you. Yes. I always say we. Thank you. My little greenhouse. Now, if you don't remember, we had a. <laughs> Ken's always in the background of my shot. If you don't remember, my um, one of our Christmas cards two years ago was the line drawing of. Um, my greenhouse and we had some stickers basically uh, developed so that I could use these things in my kitchen garden on seed packets and on little spray bottles because these are going to be, the <laughs> you can hear Mr. Holden throwing things into the dishwasher. <laughs> um, <laughs> but this is for pest control so I just put some uh, washing up liquid in these bottles and I pop a little sticker on the front like so and these are what I use for like mint if I've got mint in things they can often get little creepy crawlies on them just a quick spritz of washing up liquid and water does the trick so I'm gonna do two of these one for the greenhouse and one for in the house so I've popped a few pumps of just the dish soap by the sink and the good thing about these little spray bottles I get them from Amazon and they um, have two different options so they have the the spray and they also have the sort of direct spray as well but I just give these things a bit of a saturate often you just see the little buggles flying off but as you can see this has got lots of new growth and it's looking very good but I'm just gonna give it a good saturate as I showed you we've got Ken and Graham here but we also have Ken's other son Kane and I would say that he is an absolute hit with 40. Oh my goodness, 40. 
Are you happy, my boy? <laughs> Literally, I just walked down the corridor and I see these two sitting in here living their best life. I think, I think Ken's a bit jealous, Porter, so I think you might have to sit on Ken's lap someday, okay? He's like, absolutely not, mummy. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have liftoff. This has got to be the best birthday ever. Look at this. Beautifully finished. Oh my gosh, the trusses look perfect. Ken and Graham have done such a fantastic job decorating them in. We didn't want it to look perfect. We wanted it to be a little bit messy around the edges. So Ken was like, I can't do it. I've got to do it perfect. We were like, no, we want a little bit of imperfection um, just so it looks like it's just been touched up a little bit over the years and they have absolutely nailed it. These are the Etsy wall lights at the moment and the colour is stunning. It looks almost like a sort of grey and it's listed as grey but there's definitely a sort of lilac-y, mauve -y undertone and they look so good in here but I can change them, that's the thing that I love. I can change them out, I can go for something floral, botanical, I can go for gingham, I've got lots of different options. Well, I have had a blooming nightmare. I've tried to duck under the tarpaulin that's protecting the upstairs and I've hit my head on the banister. <laughs> what a numpty, but it is carnage in the house at the moment. I've got my mum and her boyfriend over, so we're in charge of cooking lunch. Ken and Graham are still here at 10 to six on a Sunday. I genuinely cannot believe how hard they have worked today. And I pr promise you, um, we treat them well. Got them a Chinese last night. Ken always leaves with bags of goodies and we obviously pay them really well. They've worked so hard. We're about ready to take the masking tape up from around the room. I can't believe it. I think we're gonna be able to keep the bed that's in there. I think it works really well. Just add some little details in the cushions and the curtains and it's done. So I'm gonna get, get ordering my curtains from Texture and then cushions. <gasps> I'm so excited. Graham, mm -hmm. are we gonna take the masking tape up? Yeah. <laughs> this is my favorite bit. It's not okay. You doing it or am I doing it? Well, that's okay. It's just, yeah. the, it's just the satisfaction of taking it. Oh yeah. Maybe? Oh gosh, we ran out of, we ran out of battery. <laughs> I'm coming, Graham. It's a good take, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. One more time. <laughs> Did you yeah. stick it back down? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get the effect in it, yeah. Yes. Ho 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 ho. So satisfying. Oh yeah. And it looks so nice when you look through into there with the colour. Yeah. Oh, good job, Graham. <laughs> the bed is in situ. And Mr. Millen Gordon is moving our old mirror off. We're thinking about getting this painted up, aren't we? Is there a top and a bottom? Um not really. I don't know, but that is just duct taped on. That's such a botched job. To be honest, the, Grandma's quilt looks beautiful in here with, with this colour. We've got an assortment of cushions. Right, let's sort the bed out. We are on the home stretch of my birthday, having the first floor of the house actually finished. This is what this room is looking at at the moment. These are not the lamps that are gonna be in here. They're a bit small. Cushions and bits and pieces we're just sort of playing around with. Ali is currently doing absolutely everything. He's been putting up lights. He's been helping corking and filling. He's been doing the handles and Really, everything is coming together. And do you know what I love the most is that this is the colour that I was thinking about doing in my office downstairs. And this is the throw that my grandma handmade. And so it makes me think that this will work really beautifully downstairs when I paint that room. But it is starting to look rather cosy. He's put up the pictures. We actually decided to pop them up there. And uh, it means that it's a real focal of the back there, which I really like. Temporary mirror. And this is why you marry a tradesman, ladies and gentlemen, because 
they can do absolutely everything. Babe, I've never known anything that you can't do. If you put your mind to something. Yeah, I'm doing, or should I say redoing, half the tradesman's bloody work. And this little squidge keeps making his way into the hallway that he's not supposed to be in. Where's my little <laughs> He's so confused. He's like, am I allowed to be in here, Daddy? 